Hi, it's Zobo1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox. And today I've got a fun little video for you of me getting mugged in and around Shinra Desra. So I was out in my Corvette looking for a 1v1 against another Corvette. I did have a 1v1 in my Corvette, um, but this time I didn't get a 1v1 in my Corvette. I got attacked by a couple of people. Uh, a phasing <laughs> vulture, which was annoying. A fairly facing shieldless vulture, and then uh, Vaz joined in. Me and Vaz had had a 1v1, and now he was trying to um, mug me in this thing, which is quite fun. Um, I do love hitting the vulture with the four shell cannons, though that doesn't happen enough in this fight. Um, I get really orbited quite quickly, um, and trying to survive as long as possible. Um, against the ship that's doing me a nasty amount of phasing damage. I think it's two rapid fire phasing um, pulses on there, or burst lasers, I'm not sure. Um, I can see when I hit with the <laughs> four shell cannons because he goes spinning off. But yeah, um, now originally it was me and Al versus these two guys, then it turned into me versus the two of them, then Kessler joined in later on. Um, and it's just a fun fight. I always feel really awkward when I'm in a big ship against mediums or smalls, I feel like I'm totally outmaneuvered, I feel sluggish, I feel slow, and I'm just not that good in a big ship. Uh, some people like love the Corvette and think it's amazing. Mine is a, it's a meme build, but I don't think um, it would matter even if I had a proper, um, properly built Corvette. I just don't feel comfortable when I'm in a big ship. I feel cumbersome and slow, um, never quite really in the fight. Um, and there's certain things I know I should be doing to make life easier for myself. I should be reverse skiing more. I should be doing some, you know, basic defensive flying. Um, but, you know, I end up, after a while, um, I do put my weapons away in a minute because it was going really near the station um, and I don't trust my beam turrets to not shoot the station, let's face it. So, yeah, <laughs> until, he's, until he's out past the station the other way, I thought I'll just put them away for a moment in case they decide to shoot the station for me because uh, yeah beam lasers and ton turrets are a bit risky I feel um, you know I just don't want to take the chance so I was having quite a lot of fun but like I say it's very difficult to stay in the fight when you're in something like this because it's so slow it's so cumbersome and you know uh, Al is Al ended up vacating and I ended up being 2v1 for a while um, the phasing was doing actually a decent amount of damage, which is, I was surprised at considering how much Harline we got on this ship. Basically I've got two banks, uh, two module reinforcement, and everything else is hull. But it's all E-rated hull. Um, the reason being was the extra weight. Uh, this is my meme uh, Corvette, so it weighs over 3,000 tons and has 9,000 plus shields. Unfortunately those shields are amazingly terrible resistances. <laughs> I love hitting things with my four shell cannons. It is just funny. It makes me smile watching things spin off like that. Um, but yeah, so 9,000 shields but terrible thermal resistance. So obviously the, the vultures having great success against my shields and um, you'll see I end up for a lot of this fight not with four pips to, end, uh, to shields anymore trying to get out of it because I just was being outmaneuvered so much. It's so difficult to consistently do damage to someone when they're maneuvering that much around you. But when I was hitting, I was doing a lot of damage, which was quite gratifying. And like I said, I love watching people spin off. Um, also, Vaz, who is attacking me here under his alt account that's in Lyra, um, was smashing into me a lot, which I was like surprised he was doing considering how much this ship weighs and how strong the shields are. It's like. It is going to hurt you if you smash into it. It's not a it's not a good object to be ramming against, and that eventually does pay off for me, but eventually. Um, and like I say, I've, I switched to fighting the crate because I was having more joy hitting that. Uh, the, you know, the small hitbox on the vulture, and um, you know, just the gimbal mate, uh, the, you know, my gimbal scrubbiness and the fact I don't use fix very often. I was missing a lot of my cannon shots on the Vulture. It is tough to hit a small with fixed weapons and you know I'm not that much of a fixed weapon guy. But a crate, I can hit a crate, they're nice big flat surfaces so I can have fun hitting that crate. 
I did get a message um, from Kessler saying, do you want me to join in? I was like, yeah, sure, feel free. <laughs> and he he does join in and help out, which is quite useful. Because um, at this point, I'm totally being mugged. I, I'm sure I'm just going to get destroyed because I'm struggling. I'm struggling to do anything, really. Um, they didn't have bank cancelling, but then my banks don't do a lot. Um, it's a bit of a weird one. I've got two B-rated banks on here for the extra weight. Um, so I do fire off quite a lot of banks, but they don't, because I'm max mega dual shields, they're not exactly putting that much shields back into my shields. Um, you know, <laughs> they don't feel like they do that much for me. But like I said, I was really surprised Vaz was ramming into this thing because this thing just weighs so much. Um, it doesn't actually work well as a ramming ship because um, it just doesn't move fast enough to get the momentum to ram. I might have to do what I did to this to a cutter at some point and see what that does, but I'm loath to own another cutter. I got rid of my last one because I feel like it's a cope ship. Um, it very much to me feels like the sort of ship you get in if you like it's the no risk ship of choice. Um, and making a like I don't know all frag ramming one is while f would be quite funny is not that appealing because it, when you miss the ram you're just going to drift off for ages. And be an absolute joke. <laughs> Steam it. Oh, I missed. And the thing is, it's going to happen so slowly and so, like, annoyingly as you drift past and then skid out. Because uh, anyone who's flown the car at speed, and once you're at speed, you're not changing direction that quickly. So adjusting to ram someone, once they know you're trying to ram them, you're just going to spend your time whizzing off into space doing nothing. But, yeah, like I say, I was really struggling to hit the vulture, so I switched to the crate. Had a lot of success shooting the crate. Um, and people were smashing into me a lot. Um, the vulture, the vulture was so tough to hit. Um, I gotta say, fair play to him. And I really should use my railgun more. Um, but every time I went to fire my railgun, I'm actually on the wrong thing, and I'm using my banks instead. Uh, it's one of the things I don't have my banks assigned to a fire to a shortcut or anything because I don't use banks that often. Like I've bothered doing that. One moment, I think it's time for an outbreak. This has been a long video. So, we're going to take a pause to take a quick look at what you guys sponsor. With your guys' views, you help out Big Red Rooster Cockerel Rescue, helping out cocks of all sizes, all shapes, and for the love of the cock, keep watching so we can raise money for this lovely little animal rescue and save birds on my little co-pilot here. So while this was a lot of fun and a silly fight, um, I felt really out of my depth and uncomfortable in such a big, wallowy, slow ship. Um, I'm much more comfortable fighting in mediums. I'm much more comfortable fighting in smalls. Uh, being in a big ship, I know some people are like, Scooby loves the big ship. It's like a second skin to him. Uh, but, you know, this is where I really struggle with it. It, like, it just feels off. Um, I came up here, I had a 1-1v1, one, one one, um, which... I brought her in another video and then I had this incident and that, that was it. I basically put the big girl away um, and uh, got in something else. It's a fun meme of a ship, but really, you know, trying to turn fast in something that weighs this much is very difficult. Um, and also Kessler accidentally shot me, so my turrets start taking retribution on Kessler. So, and also I'm, I've got three red triangles around me. I'm not sure which one's which and I'm you know, trying to keep up with things. <laughs> so occasionally my turrets will just shoot Kessler and stuff. That, hey, that happens. Um, he was helping out, but I think he's using plasma charges and um, sort of whizzed past there. And I think he missed the vulture earlier or when, when someone was ramming into me, he hit me as well as them. Uh, but as you can see, my shields are going down. I have now a choice to like, do I try and scarper or do I carry on? And I'm like, you know what? I don't mind, let's just see how this goes. Um, both ships are damaged, I'm going to lose my shields. Let's see if I can outlast them. I have a lot of hull on here, uh, but Corvette hull is kind of weird. It's, it seems like you have a high number, but it does melt very quickly. Um, I mean, the Phasen's already knocked off a decent amount of my hull. I was surprised how much it had knocked off, actually. That Vulture is pretty damaging for, a, you know, it's two large hard points. But, you know, he's done well. He's really whittled me down. And he's still there on, you know, 20-odd percent hull left. Still being a pain in the butt. <laughs> and, uh, 
yeah, I was lucky. Vaz did eventually um, basically ram himself to death, smashing into me. Um, but it it wasn't, you know, <laughs> it wasn't that quick, and I took a lot of damage in the process. Uh, but fair play to him. Uh, he's got that auto count to try and encourage people to fight him because uh, when people see Vaz, they don't tend to want to fight him. Um, I personally, I enjoy fighting Vaz. Vaz has always been a fun one v one opponent. Um, I do find that Phantom hard to deal with because it will go out and recharge its shields a little bit more than, you know, so a lot of my one and done prismatic builds struggle with it. But it's always a fun fight and it's always a fight I'm happy to take on. And uh, I, I am building some other ships and so maybe maybe I'll take it on in my um, Phantom last I was sick. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much this fight wrapping up. Um, after Vaz dies, the Vulture finally calls it a day on very low hull and starts heading back to the station and GG's me. At that point, I stopped shooting him with my oil gun. But I'll leave you with that bit playing out as I'll say that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks to the people for jumping in and trying to help me. That's all. I'll catch you in the next video. Oh, you're 26 kilometers away, that's not a problem. According to me, you've got all your shields.